after the outcome of a very pleasant and successful joint meeting of the leadership of the APC in Cross River State, in a joint session with elected members of the Cross River State House of Assembly under the platform of our great party, with the entire state executive committee of our great party, the chapter chairman, chapter secretary, to use this opportunity to commend His Excellency, the Governor of Cross River State, Senator Prince Basi Edetu II, for the very wonderful steps that have so far been taken, and to give a seal of approval to his policy direction of running an all-inclusive government for the benefit of all Cross River States and to specifically thank him for sharing his plenipotential powers by saying that the party will always have a say in the running of the administration with him. This is in keeping in terms with the promise he made to this party while he was even running during the primaries. And this party is full of praises for him. It has therefore become very pertinent to gather this large army of men, of party men, to again reiterate that the good news and the position of the party from day one, which His Excellency gave a seal to, which is monkey walk, monkey chop, baboon no walk, baboon no chop, is about to be implemented in full scale as the government gets ready to start full engagement of party men and women who will jointly support His Excellency. It has become very obvious that the Electoral Act Amendment has made it almost an obligation on all state executive and federal government executives to put in their cabinet within 60 days in office. With the swearing in of Governor Prince Bas Yedder to two on May 29th, it is almost a month running in. And with the good step he has taken in terms of putting his principal officers, which were solely at his discretion and his guidance to the party for fuller engagement of bringing in men and women that truly, truly worked for this party, particularly members of the APC who gave their all. In addition, the members of the opposition who on grounds of the equity and justice position of the state decided to move out of their party or to stay within their party and give support for the unity and peace of Cross River State. And by that instruction, and having been shared and deliberated today in this meeting, the entire State Executive Committee in the Joint Section, with the Chapter Chairmen, Chapter Secretaries and the House of Assembly have therefore agreed to return immediately to the field, to hold meetings in the entire 196 wards of Cross River State to generate names from party men and women who worked so well on a clear position that three names of hard-working persons will come from each ward with at least a minimum of a woman reflecting from every ward and this must be taken very seriously as it aligns with the vision of Her Excellency, the wife of the Governor and the First Lady of the State, Reverend Ayowan Basi Edetu II. Secondly, in keeping in line with the directives of the National of carrying members of the party along, we therefore demand that every name that will be coming or that will be sent from the world level we have to be countersigned by the ward chairman and ward secretary at the various wards and down to the local government level where the chapter chairman, the chapter secretary, 
and the members of the House of Assembly of the party or candidates of this party in the last election who could not make it to the House will also jointly countersign. The wisdom behind this is to make sure that only committed members of the party who worked will be considered for this engagement to ensure that the provision of Article 1210 and Article 1215 that deals with the state caucus of the party, local government caucus of the party, comes into shape. We have today met and jointly resolved on far-reaching issues which will be contained in the press release that will be made by the public secretary of the party. We therefore enjoin all men and women to please, within this one week period, return to the various local governments and make sure that meetings hold to elect the three names that will be forwarded through the chapter chairman to the state and to also ensure minimum of two names from each ward to be co-opted into the local government caucus in addition to the provision for the statutory uh, provision that is already made by Article 1215 of the party's constitution. We therefore use this opportunity to pass a serious vote of confidence on the governor of our dear state for the good moves he has made and for assisting the party to have a seamless transition in the leadership of the House of Assembly. That which became so difficult in so, so many states was very, very seamless in Cross River State. And it took only the visionary leadership of Senator Prince Bassi Ededo too to have achieved this. The party also considered the complaints from most party members on some few names that have made the appointment list or the transition committee uh, caucus enlargement list and uh, the task force team and the party have also agreed that from time to time it will guide the governor so that members who work so much to frustrate this government into coming into being do not be the ones to be considered for the first shot of the benefits that accrues. We also want to use the opportunity to appeal to our members that because of the economic reality of the moment and because of the declaration of His Excellency that food on the table will give way for food for the table, members must now gear up to take advantage of the climate situation in Cross River State, the good rainforest we have, the arable land and the fertile ground. So please look at those areas where we have comparative advantages like grain of cassava, grain of yams, grain of soya beans, grain of cocoa, grain of rice, poultry and aquaculture, livestock and other agro issues that will help contribute to the agro-industrialization of this state, to take advantage of that. For so many persons will be empowered by His Excellency the Governor. It will not just be by mere appointment this time, but empowerment will be the driving skill. And to also let our members to know that as federal boards are about being dissolved, the names that are being generated from the various wards, those who cannot be accommodated at the local government or at the state level, will find their ways to be in Abuja. We are working very well with the national leadership and will from time to time brief members of our party to also let Crossiverians not to be too anxious. Those who cannot make the first list of these three names that are coming should be rest assured that the governor will from time to time want to enlarge his cabinet or enlarge his government within his carrying capacity this time around, not beyond his carrying capacity as it used to be the case before now.